afternoon, everyone. This is Tony from Her Homestead Skills. Hope everyone is doing well. Well, today I thought was a good day to do the long-awaited uh, cast iron seasoning. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that I have been purchasing old cast iron, mainly skillets, from the thrift shops. I have uh, purchased a few other items, but most of them were skillets. And uh, it, as time went on, I learned to be a little bit more discriminating, which is fine. You know, you learn as you go along. And uh, so, yeah, today being a cold, wet, rainy day, I thought it was a good time to preheat the oven. And I heard it just a few minutes ago. It's up to temperature now, so I'm just about ready to put it, um, put the skillets in the oven. And uh, yes, it's too wet to go out to my garden. I was out there. Oh, two, two days ago, three days ago, when, when it was bright and sunny and it was a beautiful warm day, I thought I'd take a quick peek and stop by and see how things were progressing. And uh, yeah, the soil was pretty dry, but uh, the garden seemed to be, you know, always a lot of weeds I have to clean up. That's a given because I don't cover it up and there's weeds all around. So I really have no choice but to clean a lot of weeds. But my garlic was doing awesome, the garlic that I planted in the fall. It was about six inches tall, and my um, lavender just gets nicer and nicer every year. That's the nice thing about lavender. You plant it once, at least in my climate. I found that if I plant it once and then cut it back really hard in the spring, it just gets bigger and nicer and bushier and more beautiful. So. Lavender is doing great. I th hope that the sage has survived. I think it has. I found chamomile. <laughs> I found strawberry uh, plants that had seeded themselves. Uh, the Greek oregano is doing great. I'm not too fussy on the Greek oregano. I may dig that up, but it's doing phenomenal. It's, it's coming up again, so there is some life in the garden. And uh, I was planning to go back there, but then yesterday and today we have had nothing but cold and rain. So it went from beautiful weather to cold and rain, and I don't mind the rain at all because I think the garden needed it desperately. We didn't have a lot of snow this year, so the ground was very dry. And the rain should make it a little bit easier to turn the soil and clean the weeds out. So. Uh, that's going to be a priority in the next little while. But meanwhile, today I thought I would uh, do my cast iron. So let's get to it. As I said, the oven has warmed up and I'm going to season them in the oven. I have chosen three skillets. I have probably about seven or eight I could do, but today I've chosen three. I don't want to overwhelm the oven and I don't want to do two layers because you don't want things to drip from one to the other. Anyway, I'll get to the kitchen and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, first I wanted to point out some of the things that I have done here and I have chosen three skillets. These are all Canadian brands, Canadian made. One of them is the number nine dot skillet and one thing that I did notice is that it had the exact or very close similar handle to the McClary's. Very very similar. Let's see if we can get the camera closer. Okay so the handle on the McClary's has got this ridge and this lip coming up and slightly indented here. Now the Number nine has got the exact same pattern with the erased. The, this line does not come out as far as it does on the McClary. See, it's a little bit longer on this one. Plus, it looks like there has, it's a little, not as refined and it's been uh, ground away here. There was something there. I, I don't know what the difference was, but I do know that McClary's was the original manufacturer and these, this one looks like it was probably using the same mold except that we have 
um, heat ring on this one and we don't on the McClary Spider. These are both number 910s and they're both in beautiful shape. Um, I would say the 9 dot is in the best shape of them all, of all my pans. And the third one that I've chosen was also another Canadian brand, which is uh, GSW. Now GSW is also, um, well, is a Canadian firm that was, and as you can see the handle once again is similar, but not the same. It's more of an indented in there, so there has been modifications. But GSW is a conglomeration of five companies uh, that McClary's was bought by GSW. I don't know who made this one for sure. And there were, you know, an another four other companies that merged to uh, create uh, General, I think it's General Steel Wares, GSW. And this is a number eight, and these two are both number nine. Now, if you uh, have watched when I was stripping these, I stripped them in a lye bath and probably the wrong time of year, but I managed to strip them pretty good. And um, I washed them, I scrubbed them out a bit. And the one thing that I did, because I wasn't planning on seasoning them right away, was just to give them all a light coating of grease so that they didn't rust. So none of them are rusted. As you can see, they're all in pretty good shape. Okay, so normally when you're going to um, season your pans, what you would do is give them a very light coating of grease and wipe it all off. You want nothing residual staying there. You just want it just a, an extremely thin, thin, thin layer of grease. And then, and because that's already done, because I've already done that in order to pre prevent it from rusting, I'm not going to put another layer on right now. My oven is up to temperature, so I'm going to put these in the oven upside down so that uh, nothing um, puddles. If there's, you know, an excess amount of grease here, it doesn't puddle in one spot and bake on. So I think I can get three. I don't know if I would want to attempt to put any more in here than three. So uh, in they go. I hope I can get three. Not so sure about that. Nope, it looks like I'm only doing two pans at a time, which is okay, it's fine. It's just going to take me a lot longer to season all of these. But uh, so I'm leaving the number eight. GSW out at this point and I'm doing the two number nines, the McClary's and the nine dot. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put these, I've got the temperature up to 500 degrees and I'm going to put these in the oven for an hour. And when the hour is up, we're going to pull them out and we're going to put another very thin layer of grease and wipe it all dry as much as possible and then put it in the oven again for another hour and you want to do that three times at a minimum and perhaps well three would be good to start off with and you should get a very a very good seasoning at that point i'm disappointed that i can only get two in the oven and yes i can put two more on a separate rack but i only want to do one rack at a time Okay, we'll see what happens when I pull them out. Okay, my timer has gone off and I am about to pull out my two cast iron skillets from the oven and I'm putting on a pair of very protective gloves because these things are smoking hot. They've been in a 500 degree oven and I really don't want third degree burns. So here's the first one, it's the McClary's and Beautiful. Really love the way this looks. Okay. Um, second one. Unfortunately, I was only able to do two of them. The second one is the nine dot. The dot skillet. <laughs> and that is also absolutely gorgeous inside. So um, they're still very hot. 
but uh, my intent right now is to um, use some more, I coat them with a little bit more grease, wipe it out really good. Now, you can use all kinds of specialty oils. I just happen to just use Crisco. And I'm just going to give this, just got to watch I don't burn myself. Because this is still pretty hot. So, fairly generous. And I'm pleased that my paper towel isn't black. Just goes to show you that we did a good job cleaning these. Okay. So right now I'm just going to give it a good layer of this and we'll give it a few minutes to soak in and then we will wipe out the excess. And I'm showing you this because I wasn't able to on the first batch, the first go around. But And we also want to do the backs. So let me just put on my safety gloves, turn this item around on my stove, and do the, the back side as well. You do want to coat the whole thing. Handle, the back, the whole thing, you want to do it all. Now I'm going to move that one out of the way so I can get this one properly. Put it on out of the way there. Okay, so I can get the full edges here. And the handle. And yes, you'll have purists who tell you that you should use certain oil, and that's fine. You could use whatever you like. I'm quite comfortable just using Crisco. Okay, so I've got the whole thing coated right now. And I'm just going to let that soak in for a while and do the other one. And when they're both done, then we'll give them a good wipe. So switch places. Now you see how, how wet that one looks compared to how dry this one looks. So you want it somewhere in between actually. Uh, why don't I start with the back side of this one. And this is my McClary Spider. It's a McClary's Drip Top Spider. Very beautiful skillet. One of my prized possessions. And considering this piece is over a hundred years old, it's in great shape. Okay, handles done. Ouch. Got close there. Yep. No real damage, but was close. And now for this side. Top edge. Handle and all of the inside. And of course the heat helps to melt this immediately. Okay, so it's all good and soaked. And now we want to take a dry. And I'm still going to use paper towels. You can use a good cotton cloth. But I'm not unhappy with the towels. So let this one soak while I do the other one first. Okay, and at this point, you want to wipe out 
everything that you can. You just want to be left with a very, very, very thin coating. And it's almost dry again. And that's what you're looking for. You see, it's not quite as shiny. The back as well. The handles. Good, that's done. Perfect. Look at how lovely that looks. Okay. Now, how shiny and wet that one looks, we're going to get that the same as the other one. Soak up all the excess. And I'm going to get one more clean paper towel just to make sure that I've got everything here. Everything that I could, yeah. That's soaking it up just a bit more. Okay, there we have it. Let's get these burners wiped down too. There we go. See, there we are. That's pretty wiped clean. And so is that one there. Now they're going to go back in the oven again at 500 degrees, turn them upside down, and bake them for an hour. And we'll do that one more time after that. You want to do it minimum twice, and three would be better. Anyway, that's how you season your skillets and these are going to be ready for use even after the second time okay this is tony from her homestead skills i hope you enjoy this little lesson on how i season my skillets and boy have i got a bunch of them to do i think i've got oh another six or seven at least to do so i've got my work cut out for me <laughs>